This is why Ghana's under 20 side, the Black Satellites, have to beat Ivory Coast in the Wafu Under 20 Boys Cup of Nations if they indeed want to qualify for the Under 20 AFCON tournament. Well, I'm here to bring you up to speed on all that because the Black Satellites looks like they are on their way out of the Wafu Zombie Boys Cup of Nations tournament and that means that Ghana is likely not to be part of the under 20 AFCON and it's going to really really worry the development of football in Ghana. Well, I'm here to bring you up to speed on all that and more ahead of Ghana's game against Ivory Coast which will be played on July 13th on Thursday and well before we get into it please subscribe to the channel like share and don't forget to leave a comment so that is how i welcome you to the preview of ghana's game against ivory coast in the wafu zombie boys cup of nations tournament well the black satellite of ghana are part of five other countries competing in the wafu zombie boys cup of nations tournament which serves as the qualification for the under 20 african cup of nations cup Tournament. Well, the Black Satellites are part of countries like host country that is Ivory Coast, Burkina Faso, Niger, Togo, and Benin who are competing in the Wafu Zombie Boys Cup of Nations tournament. The Black Satellites of Ghana were placed in Group A alongside host country that is Ivory Coast as well as uh, Niger and Burkina Faso. The Black Satellites of Ghana began their campaign in the competition against Niger in a match that ended 1-1, Ghana scored the first goal and Niger got a late equalizer for Ghana to just pick one point in the game. Meanwhile, as that game went on, Burkina Faso defeated Ivory Coast by one goal to zero in the opener of the tournament. Then, in Ghana's second game, we faced Burkina Faso had already gotten three points and Ghana lost to Burkina Faso by two goals to zero, giving Burkina Faso three points and Ghana having one point well after that game also ivory coast took on niger in a very entertaining fixture and ivory coast defeated niger by four goals to one so ivory coast has three points ghana has one point and burkina faso who are the uh, uh, leaders in group a have six points after winning two matches ivory coast have one point a uh, three points in second place then ghana has one point niger at points and ahead of the final group game Ghana is set to face Ivory Coast and Burkina Faso have already qualified are going to face Niger well if Ghana really wants to progress out of the group stages of the Wafu Zombi Boys Cup of Nations tournament it means coach Samuel Boydou and his men would have to beat host country Ivory Coast to make sure they qualify to the next round well this is the permutations or this is what we call the calculator ca or uh, mathematical calculations that will see Ghana progress from the group stages well because Burkina Faso have six points whatever happens in their game against Niger does not matter because Burkina Faso has already qualified well for Ghana to qualify we would have to win our game against Ivory Coast at all costs because if we draw against Ivory Coast we'll end up having two points Ivory Coast will have four points if we beat Ivory Coast we will get four points Ivory Coast will have three points and that is the only way we can beat Ivory Coast to qualify to the next round of the competition now the issue was that Ghana should have won its game against Niger and would have gotten three points and well even if uh, Burkina Faso scored us it wouldn't matter and well all would have all that would have mattered is that in our game against uh, Ivory Coast we should have the same thing we should have won because if we drew it means that we are lacking by a goal because we lost by two goals to Burkina Faso but with the Ivory Coast game against Burkina Faso head to head they lost by one goal to so Ghana is shot by one goal Ivory Coast has more goals than Ghana so should we draw we are out so it is a must win for the Black Satellite and coach Sam Obwedu, the former head coach of Heart of Four, cannot afford to lose the opportunity to qualify Ghana's under 20 side popularly known as the Black Satellite to the U20 AFCON competition. Why is this very very crucial for Coach Samobuidu and his men? This is because Ghana's under 23 side has given Ghana Ghanaians false hope and Ghanaians like you and I have lost interest in our national team. When you watch the Black Stars, they are not winning matches, 
the Chan tournaments. Look how blasters they went to the tournaments and they also didn't do well. We saw the under 23 team, we thought they were going to qualify for the Olympic Games. They went to the uh, under 23 AFCON, then they were booted out of the group stages. So things are not going very well. And if the under 20 team also do not do well, it means that there is no hope. For Ghana at all so they must ensure that they defeat Ivy Coast at all costs on Thursday to qualify to the next round of the competition but how has Ghana performed in the Wafu Zombie Cup of Nations tournament so far well the tournament started two years ago and Ghana won the first competition with the likes of Daniel um, Ifriye Banier, Matthew Enim Koju, Danlad Ibrahim and the likes. Then they qualified for the U20 AFCON. Then they went there and conquered that tournament. It was during the coronavirus uh, time. So they won the under 20 AFCON two years ago. But unfortunately, they couldn't go to the under 20 World Cup because of corona restrictions. Well, last year in 2021, Ghana went to the tournament once again in Benin where it was hosted. But unfortunately, the Black Stars lies under coach Karim Zito, the head coach of Dreams FC. I hope you understand, GFU and Dreams FC. They went to the tournament and they were booted out of the group stages. Karim Zito came and was uh, complaining that the players didn't do well and all that. This time, the team has been handed to uh, Samuel Buidu, the former head coach of Heart of Folk and Mediama FC. And we are hoping that they could do very well. This time, Clinton Dodu is in the squad. We have uh, Aaron Esso from the under 23 team. And uh, no, so we are expecting them to do very much better. I want to see the Black Satellite play above themselves more than the game they played against I've, um, Burkina Faso and Niger because their performance so far has not been very, very exciting. And Fatal Dada, who is the goalkeeper's coach, and also some of do have to ensure that this team does very well. So I've painted the picture of how Ghana has performed at the Wafu tournament. But did you know that? Ghana Standard 20 side is one of the most revered and most accomplished teams that we have in football. Well, in 2009, the team won the uh, AFCON Under 20 tournament, which uh, was led by coach Salastete with the likes of Andre Ayu as captain in that team. And Jimambidu was also part of that team, as well as Glassin Awak when they like. The team went on to play at the U20 World Cup. They beat Brazil to win that particular tournament at all. After, uh, as well. So the under 20 team is a very very good team that we don't joke with in this country. So we want to see the Black Satellites defeat Ivy Coast on Thursday and qualify for the U20 AFCON if they are able to reach the semi-final and play in the final. So that is by way of update on the preview of Ghana's game against Ivy Coast. The game will be played at 3 p.m. on Thursday, June 13 and well it will be live on um quest zone i'll put i'll put where you can the link to where you can watch the game i don't know how to pronounce their name i'll put the link down there so that you guys can go and watch the game live on youtube it is not being shown on uh, tv stations it is on youtube so i'll leave the link in the description so that you guys can go to the channel and watch the game live back bear in mind that right after the game there will be highlights here as well so Yes, that is by way of update on Ghana's game against Ivory Coast, the preview and analysis. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you think Ghana can still make it out of the group stages and qualify to the next round of the Wafu Zombie Boys Cup of Nations tournament. The name is Joseph Adama Fiyo and it was a pleasure bringing you a sports update. Please subscribe, like, share and don't forget to leave a comment. See you in the next one.